He is uh, heading back in there to the mine. It's about uh, two and a half feet of flooded water into this long drift mine going back to the 1920s. Uh, nobody's been in this thing for a long time. So he's going to see how far that water goes. Okay. Okay, we just walked through about 250 feet of uh, waist deep water to get into this old drift mine. And uh, we found the remains of a uh, moonshine still back in here, which will be about typical. This mine dates back to the early 1920s. Don't know how long it was in operation, but this moonshine still could go back to the 40s or 50s, long after the mines were abandoned. But, uh, Anyway, the mine heads off in this direction, and uh, got some more of the mine over here. This says, uh, and that's a little, that's part of the moonshine right there, is a rock retaining wall. That's part of what they call, I think, a moonshine vat right there. So, anyway, we're gonna keep checking out a little bit more of this mine. You can see the stacked rock walls the miners put in here, so. Very interesting, fantastic ventilation. Air ventilation. into the old uh, coal drift mine, the moonshiner's mine. It's what we probably ought to call this, and these are some of the original little narrow gauge mine cart rails right here that somebody had probably just picked up and thrown over here. Still there. Right there. We got the old kerosene uh, right here. Uh, and this is part of more of the moonshine equipment right here. Possibly a moonshine vat holding tank for the moonshine. They were really making some moonshine back in here. And uh, you see some more uh, barrels right there. And that that part of the mine keeps going that way and there's a fantastic breeze wherever that ends up at. So, and of course you got the coal seam. And, uh, So we'll check out a little bit more. This is a great find. It wasn't great right there. Okay, so we're making our way further back in this old coal drift mine, and you can actually see the uh, remains of the little cross tie timbers right here. They had for the minecart rails. Uh, you can tell they weren't very big. Just uh, chopped down pieces of uh, tree limbs, basically. But. Uh, this is a uh, another work header right here, and you can see the uh, rich coal seam right there, pretty rich. And you can see the mine continues on this direction, and you can see the uh, little stack pieces of shale that they put up there to build a retaining wall, uh, supported by some little timber supports right there. But uh, it just keeps going, and we're probably at about. 800 feet and uh, there's really good air ventilation and uh, so we'll just go on a little bit further and just see what it looks like before we turn on
seen here, this is a uh, remains of a uh, shallow draft wooden coal mining cart that's upside down. They evidently they uh, you know salvaged the wheels off of it, but they turned it upside down. It still has the uh, chain where you could attach another coal cart to it, but it's pretty deep in this drift mine, and we just happened to come across it. And it's the first one, it's wooden, so you can tell that the miners had to hand push these things out. You couldn't get a mule or a horse back in here. But uh, great, uh, great find. First, first one we've ever seen of a mine cart in a coal mine. So, all right. <laughs> minecart tracks and everything coming around this bend and what's interesting this must have been for some kind of water drainage you can actually see it through a foot of water where they had some kind of uh, the boards going over and you can actually see the uh, little cross ties and they had this uh, the boards right there for a, a turn in the mine right here so but that's completely covered up back there so we went uh, probably a good thousand feet back in here, but uh, anyway. Uh, one more thing up here that's really uh, unique. And that would be right there. That's a set of rails going under this super small little header right there. And uh, I don't even know how they got them in there. But you see the remains of the uh, wooden timber support right there rotted. All right. Must just have been hell working back in a mine like this all day. I mean, that's, that's nothing but down on your stomach right there to get after that, that coal seam. So, anyway, well, we're going to wind this up and slowly make our way back. It's uh, another good trip. Still a lot of good air ventilation. The air is just flowing through here from somewhere. So, okay. Okay. Uh, I'm making a way on back out of this old big old coal drift mine right here. You can see where they just uh, drilled into this thing right here. Solid piece of shale. And uh, stacked up all these, this loose rock up against the sides. Right there. It's a work header right there. Seven one three seven point six. It's old. hundred feet more to travel to get out of here. Okay, still pushing back to uh, get out of this old coal drift mine that just seems to go on forever. And uh, these are some of the 
little cross ties right here. You can see where they actually had the spikes in them with the holes. And this is actually this is actually a work header. And you can see where they stack the rock walls right there. And you just that just stretches on back in there following the coal seam. And it's just it's amazing. Those miners literally had to be on the sides with a small pick going after that coal seam. It's just uh, incredible what they had to do to get this coal out. The coal seam is about two and a half, two and a half, maybe in some cases three, three feet thick. But just uh, incredible what these guys had to do. And you can see right here it says ten. This would be the tenth right header. Okay, the tenth right header. So, all right, here comes Mr. Josh coming up all right go continue to go ahead and get on up out of here We came out nearby on this high bluff right here. River's way down below. And uh, and this is the mine opening. Right here, very, very well concealed. And that baby just goes on back. We came in from an entirely different direction through about five feet of water in some cases. Four feet, five feet of water. We came out this way, and we're just going to walk around and pick up our bags. But uh, fantastic trip, man. I know it's the last time anybody went in those mines.